Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina and I post videos about beauty, makeup, lifestyle, food, pretty much like random things. For today's video, I am going to do like an unboxing video of my new camera that I just got. I got the Canon G7X Mark II and I'm going to kind of compare it with my old camera which I'm using right now to vlog. Um, which is the Osmo Pocket DJI and um, they also have a number two right now but I think the only difference is that number two has like a Wi-Fi setting on it I think with this one you can also get Wi-Fi with it but you have to get like a different attachment for it I'm honestly not too sure but let's talk about this new beauty first so I got this last week um, it was on sale at Best Buy for $130 off so I think original ticket price is $649 so I really wanted to start my YouTube channel out with this camera first but I just couldn't justify like splurging on a camera that expensive to start with but knowing like when I saw that it was on sale I just kind of had to do it so I just decided to go for it which I'm so glad that I did but we'll go ahead and unbox this together sorry that I keep blinding you with the ring light there and uh, I'm not gonna it's not like a real unboxing because I know I already used it but I'll still unbox it with you guys to show you guys what it looks like. So when you first open it, it has the little instruction manual there. Normally I don't read manuals, but for this one I did have to like read a little bit. And um, there's the camera. So it comes wrapped and packaged in like a little plastic um, carton there. And it's wrapped in a little what is this called, like styrofoam paper material just to keep it like nice and safe. So we'll go ahead and take it out. This is what it looks like. It's upside down. But yeah, that's the camera. It's honestly so beautiful. It's a nice size, nice weight. It came with a little strap as well. So you do have to attach this when you first get it. Um, but it's nice to know that you have a strap so that you can kind of like carry it around um, or just like have like that extra security for when you're vlogging which honestly I don't know if I'm going to use this camera to like walk around and vlog because it is a heavy camera and um, I have the Gorilla tripod as well but honestly the two of these together it gets a little heavy so I'm not sure um, maybe I'll get used to it. I'm just used to using the DJI Osmo Pocket because it's a small handheld type of camera and it's a lot lighter. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So I got the Marks 2. I was thinking about getting number 3, but um, number 2 is just like a more popular option right now. I was reading some of the reviews and people said that they, they didn't really like the Marks 3. So, um, and also it was like a couple, like a hundred dollars more expensive. So I was just like, let me just get the marks too. Cause I don't think I really need like anything too fancy, just something to kind of get me by. But I did want to start off with a, just showing you the little screen here. Let me do that again. So this is what it looks like. And, um, so it has like a little flip screen so that you always have a nice live action view of your video so you know if you're like in the um the frame and everything like that the lighting looks good so this was like the number one deal breaker for me and i like how it's like directly on top of the lens so you can like see and not have to like look to the side or something like how i'm doing now um, i want to show you guys a setup that i have right now for the dji osmo pocket all right so i'm actually going to switch it out i'm now filming with the canon g7x mark ii and i'm just going to show you guys um the osmo pocket so you can see like the size of it in comparison to the camera so as you can see it's very small a lot easier to kind of take around with you it has like the little screen there i'm going to go ahead and turn it on for you guys you can see and um the little head also has like that internal um, stabilizer there as you can see which is a really nice feature and um, this is the screen so the little screen is also touch screen as well and when I use it to film my videos I attach it to my phone like this and there's an app that you download so that you just have like a bigger display um, like live view to kind of see so let me just pull up that app really quick so you guys can see it. So here is the app and there's me. It's like oversaturated so you really can't see much. But it just kind of gives you like a bigger 
like live view so you can see that you're in the shot and you're not like looking at um or including things that you don't want in your footage but it was a lot of work honestly to always have to take the time and attach your osmo pocket to your phone um, whereas now i can just turn on the button and start recording but i just wanted to show you guys that really quick and um, i wanted to film on this camera so that you can kind of compare and contrast like the quality the sound and everything and um, I do have a ring light on behind as well so that's why it is brighter um, ignore the thumbprints on there too it is a touch screen as well so that's also really nice and so you can just fold it up and um, it also has Wi-Fi so it has like that little Wi-Fi button there so you can like connect it to your phone and control it from your phone but um, overall, it's a really nice camera. I really like the quality of the footage that I'm getting so far. I like how it kind of makes the video look very like soft in a way. The DJI Osmo Pocket was a good camera. It still is a good camera, but I just didn't like how my haul videos and my beauty um, makeup videos were turning out. That's why I decided to go ahead and just um, invest in like a nice camera that a lot of people love. And um, so far, like, I'm really glad that I did. I really think it's worth what it, what the money is for it. Hold on, how do I word that? So I really do think that it is worth it for what I spent on it. Um, and then let me go ahead and talk about the DJI Osmo Pocket really quick. So I can't show you guys because I'm using it to film right now. It's the packaging that the DJI Osmo Pocket came in. It also has, like, a little screen, live screen on it too. So you don't always have to attach it to your phone to use it. So that's also a nice feature. It has like a nice little small, like, I guess I'd say like a one inch screen, it looks like. Um, but when you do that, the display is not gonna show you like everything that you need to see. Like you might accidentally film out of your window that you want to um, like include in the footage. So that's why I always have to like attach it to my phone just to make sure that I'm getting everything that I want and not things that I don't want. You don't have to worry about like carrying something huge and everyone just like looking at you so that's why I really do appreciate this camera. Um, I think I already said that it shoots in 4k and it has the image stabilizer. It's not waterproof though so if you're thinking about like taking it somewhere where there's water it's not probably not the best. I think the GoPro is waterproof though right? I'm not sure but yeah overall like I'm going to keep using this camera but I'm going to use this for like when I am like out and about like grocery shopping or something or shooting like some active action footage but I'm going to be using my G7X for like at home videos so that it just like looks a little nicer so I'll be using this for like makeup videos haul videos because this also has like a nice zoom feature it's super nice I'm really glad that I finally bit the bullet and decided to buy it but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed like the quick little unboxing and quick little review on um, these two products here. If you have any questions about the DJI Osmo Pocket, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!